Thanks for joining us for this essential RC drive test of the HPI Racing Formula Q32 racing cars. These are 130 second scale ready to run F1 racing cars that come with everything that you need to drive, less the AA batteries that you need to put in the transmitter. But they do come with the car, the transmitter, the battery, rechargeable battery for the car and the charger. So let's not hang around, let's take them out of the box, let's see what they look like. Okay, so here we go, this is all the contents out of the box for the red and white schemed car, very much a McLaren type scheme which we like. We've also got the Williams yellow and black and blue scheme as well. Looking at the car itself, the chassis, nice foam wheels, hard plastic body, got the on off switch underneath, the aerial out the top, looks good so the battery is already inside uh, it's fully proportional steering which is going to be great for racing with the other cars we've got the body to go on top in this red and white scheme which is very McLaren uh, type scheme we got the transmitter with the steering on the side and the trigger for the throttle on off switch on the side we just have to put some double A batteries in the bottom, easily done. For the car itself, we've got some extra decals that we can put on, on top of the, the body to make it look like it's shown there on the box, and we'll do that. Then they also give you some plastic discs to mark out a track on the floor as well, nice touch. Okay, so let's not hang around. I'm gonna put the decals on the car and put some batteries in the transmitter and charge up the car. And we're gonna give it a run around on the floor with the other car. Okay, so we've put the decals on the car and it does look really good. The next thing we need to do is to put the batteries in the transmitter, so let's do that. We've got the hatch on the bottom of the transmitter, we open that. And we follow the diagram on the side of the transmitter for putting in the batteries. So let's do that. One two, three, four, and close the hatch. And the next thing we need to do, we need to bind the transmitter to the receiver. So each of the transmitters has a unique ID, so that if you bind it to this car, it means that you can race multiple cars at the same time from different transmitters and they don't clash and take control of the other cars. So to do that, we turn on the transmitter while holding down the bind button. You'll see the light starts flashing. It will flash for 20 seconds. We need to quickly turn on the car underneath. So we've done that. And you'll notice, you can just see through the top of the car, there's a light on. And the Transmitter light will go solid green like that when it is bound. So when it's bound, we're ready to go. Okay, so we're ready. Let's go race. Anything can happen in Formula One, and it usually does. Like a 